Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for a, another video, another intuitive spiritual download. If this is your first time coming across my channel, then welcome. Come on in. Tell a friend. Stand up, sit down, whatever you feel you need to do in order to catch all of these beautiful divine synchronicities and be about this spiritual work. I absolutely do encourage you to stand in your power and hold yourself accountable by way of the energy that you are putting out. Hopefully it's good high vibrations because you're going to get high vibrations back. Welcome to Divine Spiritual Court. This is a place where we take a look at spiritual circumstances and situations based on karmic justice. Some of them are just absolutely long overdue. Nobody really likes to be in spiritual court on the bad end of karma because that means that they've done something repetitively, obsessively, compulsively, deliberately, demonically, and they're just not getting rendered what they feel is fair by way of karma. I don't know what to say. All I say is come on in and take the energies as they resonate. Come in with the gift of discernment. Come in with the gift of intuition. I just heard, ooh we. somebody don't want the message to come out. Nevertheless, the job and or the show must be done and go on. If you're turning back to the channel, you already know that you know that you know you are my beautiful, amazing soul tribe family. I love you so very much. I love you, soul tribe. Thank you for your love and light, your beautiful comments, your love donations. I love laughing with y'all in the comments. I love the people that get my sense of humor. Shout out to the people that laughed at the community post by way of the old school song when he said, I saw you and him walking in the rain you were holding hands and i'll never be the same he said take your punk ass back to that alley cat coat wearing hush puppy ass scally wag listen tony the tiger ass listen she was a karmic Okay, that's what the song was about, child. That song used to be the jam back in the day, okay? He was the only one rapping in a whole three-piece, two-piece suit with a two-piece and a biscuit by way of the shoes. I mean, biscuit. Listen, that song had me cracking up, and I was in the car, and I channeled the song. I'm like, I saw you. So baby, there's a karmic somewhere, honey, that's mad that they got caught possibly walking in the rain with somebody they don't need to be with. Because that was a channel message, child, and apparently it caught a fire to the rain. Nevertheless, come on in, my beautiful soul tribe. I love you so much. Shout out to the people that survived the long intros. I do appreciate that. I just feel like, you know, mi casa es su casa. Come on in. You bring good vibes. I bring good vibes. I love you so much. Listen. Soul tribe. Love. the song I saw you walking in the rain was a channel message let's go ahead and just expose it here at the spiritual court beautiful angels some karmic got caught up y'all okay so as these divine relationships get put in order the more you're sending your karmic twin love and light or you release them in love and light I don't want you to feel like that's an ongoing you know uphill battle if they didn't accept the spiritual soul love contract you are absolutely exempt from anything that happens to them once you have completed your assignment and been guided by source to walk away and pull your love and light back. It goes a little something like this. Hey, how you doing? I love you. You love me. I'm offering you my cup of love. And somebody didn't offer their cup of love. You are not obligated. So you have released 
ED, released, past tense, they're done, the cycle's closed, released them in love and light. Now, what they do with the love and light that you left them with, that's on them. Your hands are clean, walking into new unions. So I saw you and him walking in the rain, child, somebody's divine counterpart or some counterpart that you were supposed to have a divine contract with. Could have caught their karmic up, child. They got caught. Third party situation. Somebody thought that somebody was a better option. And that's okay. That's a blessing. I think about all the people that chose other people over me. No, they were exactly where they needed to be. Uh, listen, somebody thought they were above the law. I cannot make it up. Shout out to the people that have the gift to read the words backwards. We're just going to go with that card. Superiority complex. This has been coming out a lot lately. Uh, somebody feels like they're above the law. They're controlling. They could want to try to control your love life and the narrative of your life and God complex and blah, 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 and sis, boom, blah, and water, water, water. Child, close the door on anybody trying to project any confusion, evil eye, nasty ass, shut up, spill, trying to ear hustle, I just heard. Trying to block intuition, create blind spots. Truth and clarity is the energy. Truth and clarity is what we are calling by way of energy in spiritual court. So truth and clarity is exactly what we will get. Thank you, angels, for the confirmation. We thank you in advance for clear, concise, cuts, messages. We also thank you for peace that surpasses all understanding. That in itself is a gift. Child superiority to complex. Who is this person? Controlling, reckless, above the law. Clarify what's going on. Somebody could have gotten into some type of fault. I saw you. What happened? Walking in the rain. You could have caught your person with somebody. Yeah, somebody is under the moon trying to do some type of moon magic, projections, changing stuff. Somebody's still up to the same old bag of demonic ass tricks, child. Okay, somebody hasn't changed. They don't intend on changing. They don't plan on changing. This could be a karmic third party, full moon energy. Okay, let's get into it. Somebody wants your intuition blocked, but it's not. <laughs> and what not? Okay, above the law. Somebody's up to the same old shit. What is this about? Child, I saw you. Third party situation. Okay. So somebody left you for a third party. Let's just paint the picture. Somebody left you for a third party. This could have been somebody that you had a divine contract with. You said, okay, Ariva Delci, Sayonara. It's a blessing. I dodged a bullet. I send you and the third party love and light. <laughs> Somebody did not think that you would be well with the fact that they chose somebody over you. But you're so high rank, you're just like, well, it is what it is. Maybe that's a better fit for them. Maybe that's really their twin. Maybe that's who's mirroring them and they have something that they have to complete together because something just was out of order. Like somebody's, um, like, uh, what is it? Somebody's, uh, re -la -re -la. Somebody's values, thank you, morals were not in alignment by way of divinity. What? Six of Pentacles? Yeah, somebody, somebody gave to a third party situation, okay? So you moved on, you're well, life is good, you've accepted it, you send that person love and light, it's over, you close the door and you cut ties, period, okay? So somebody is like, why are you okay with this? Like, whoever this third party is, they felt like, I win. Yeah, bitch, I got your man. I got your woman. Or however you want to see it, flip and flop it. And you're like, you do. You win. You got exactly what you deserve. I hope the two of you have a really good life together. So you wish them well, okay? Child, somebody is still mad that you ain't mad. Somebody going crazy because you ain't crazy and you don't want somebody back, but they're afraid the person want to come back to you. Wait a minute. I saw you. Listen, but you was walking in the rain. You was going to the movies buying popcorn for the third party. Equal give and take. They could have even been cash apping this person, selling this person money. Child, now they want to come in. This person could have been a little bit younger than you. They were absolutely immature. Somebody didn't require whoever this third party is. They didn't require your person at the time to be anything other than just fun. They didn't care about how this person prayed. They just cared about how they prayed. P-R-E-Y. Listen, y'all, I cannot make it up. Bye. 
I'm about to fall asleep. Good night. Wake me up when the tower is done falling. I just heard it is a slow moving tower. So you still got a third party out there concerned because they think that this person's coming towards you. Whoever this person is, you left behind and cut ties with. They want to come towards you for a second chance. But you don't want this person. So somebody's doing some type of magic over you. Because the person now that was your person is now their person. And that person don't want them. They want you back because they've ascended. And they're mad at you. And you're somewhere that you don't even want this person. Are you crazy? What the hell is going on? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Energy, yeah, Queen of Swords, clarify Queen of Swords, clarify Queen of Swords, what's going on, above the law, Wheel of Fortune, yeah, you cut somebody off, you are the Queen of Swords, you're intelligent, you're wise, you're unbiased, you looked at this from all angles, you're not, you're not hurt, I mean, okay, like, share, love, and subscribe, double tap if you're on your mobile device, let's get into it, come on in here and get the spiritual word. Um, you could be seeing 1010, okay? Yeah, you're in this what didn't kill me only made me stronger. You're getting good karma, good luck. You successfully released some toxic energy and you had this beautiful, like spiritual audacity to leave somebody with a whole bunch of love and light overflowing. You like, go love yourself. Adios, arrivederci. Good luck. I, really good luck. Listen. You cut somebody off, queen of swords. Somebody's mad because spiritually you're above their karmic ass laws. I just heard you're above them. Yeah, you're above them. Clarify above the law, reckless. Clarify this energy. Who is this person? What they got going on and what is that they want? This third party is mad because whoever this person is, yeah, they want to come towards you. Whoever this person is, two of wands, they're sitting up. Now the party is over. The fun is done. They could be getting some type of divorce. Karma's coming in. Somebody thought they won by way of taking your person, but really you released this person. <laughs> You're like, hey, listen, I don't want to be in your way of whatever you got going on with the third party, but I just don't want to be a part of it, okay? The chariot in the reverse. This person, whoever this third party is, cancer and energy, don't have to be a cancer. But the chariot in the reverse, somebody's trying to bind somebody's willpower to stop them from coming towards you. They feel as though if they eliminate you, then this will stop this person from wanting you. Somebody's sick and twisted mentally. Yeah. They're trying to slow this person down, nine of pentacles. But here lies the dilemma. You're not going back to this person. It's over. So this person is feeling stuck at a stalemate with the hangman energy. They sacrificed this divine contract to go towards something that they thought was better. And that's okay. You're okay with that. Clarify. They feel like, yeah, somebody's controlling this masculine. Yeah. And they're losing sleep, having nightmares. Okay. Because they tried to do some type of moon magic over you. Something about a beauty spell. So this person wouldn't think about you. So this person wouldn't go towards you or if you're handsome so that this person wouldn't find you handsome could be a masculine doing this to a karmic feminine or somebody that was karmic that no longer wants to be karmic because you left a karmic partner behind to learn a lesson with another karmic partner but now they're kind of bound to the person everybody and everything involved is under judgment child you in the will of fortune and somebody is mad you are you are over here untouched and unbothered Okay, and they're watching you obsessively. This could be by way of divination or something. They're watching to see if this person's coming towards you. I feel like this was exciting for this person when they thought they had one up you or hurt you or took somebody that you uh, loved or something. Whatever this is, I feel like they they were more excited when they were just the third party, but now they're the main guy, main lady. It ain't no fun now that the rabbit's got the damn gun. Somebody's looking crazy. Now they're not just too busy watching you, Page of Swords. They're obsessively watching you and they're doing some type of witchcraft. Clarify what's under the moon. Show this person, what are they doing? Yeah, they're going to some type of higher font. Okay, I cannot make this up. I won't make it up. <laughs> your punk ass here in spiritual court. You going to a practitioner? To confuse this masculine or confuse this feminine. Take it as it resonates. But you don't want this person. You've queen of swords on them. Meaning 
you've set an intelligent boundary overly like protective of your energy, much needed, necessary boundary, and somebody's still trying to unalive you, I just heard, trying to create something, something. What the hell is wrong with this person? Two of swords, they're doing magic over this person, but it's not working. I'm going to tell you what's going on, child. This is crazy as hell. Somebody going to a practitioner, doing some type of love spell over the person to keep them, to unalive you, to take you out, to separate y'all, to keep this person in a state of confusion. And all it's doing is making this person wake up with the two of wands. They want to leave. It's having some type of adverse reaction because love is a very powerful energy. Okay, this person is seeing you as a great example of self-love. You showed them pure love. So now they're learning to love themselves and somebody wants them to stay in an unloving, toxic, third party, not a ones, you know, flighty ass, you know, sex driven ass energy, non-committal. This person could be pulling back from this person. Okay, some type of discipline to not sleep with them. This has them in their head. Somebody's getting nightmares. They feel as though you are the problem. Isn't that crazy the way the tables turn? Didn't I give you the karmic ass lover? Didn't I tell y'all peace, adios, arrivederci? You over here with the queen of swords. You're, you're wise. You got a very powerful karmic lesson. You understand the laws of the universe. You went on your journey, will of fortune, and now the third party is still going to some type of practitioner trying to stop somebody from coming towards you that you don't even work. If you don't sit your punk ass down, child, they working day and night. Listen, to keep this person in an imbalance. This is what they're doing. Two of pentacles, to keep this person in an imbalance, but it's backfiring. Child, this person is walking away. Lord have mercy. What is going on? This person could have already have walked away from Mrs. and or Mrs. I saw you walking in the rain type of person. <laughs> you were holding hands and I'll never be the same. Child, this person is mad because you're winning. They don't want you to win. Whether this person is with you or not, they're very much a narcissist, child. Clarify the practitioner, the two of swords trying to confuse this masculine, feminine from coming towards you. Child, I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Whoever this person is, whoever your person was that you left behind, they're healing because you left them with peace, love, and light and healing. You said, I hope you learn your lesson. I hope you find yourself. I surrender this situation. You allow source to take care of it. And now somebody is trying to unalive you, divine feminine, divine masculine. Are they crazy? What the hell is going on? Somebody paid somebody to do this work. Could have paid a Taurus. Child, what is going on? If it ain't a Taurus, somebody paid some money to do some earth magic to keep two people away from each other. But again, I like to stress, you don't want this person. Whoever you are, divine one, divine masculine or feminine. You don't want this person. So why is somebody attacking you? Okay, the practitioner's trying to soul search, figuring out why they took the money. They could be trying to transmute some type of energy that keeps coming back to them. <coughs> Clarify the practitioner and the client. I feel like whoever this person is, they walked away. Yeah, look, somebody knows that you're divine. That you got a new beginning. You're not thinking about this person. You don't want this person. You're not going to reconcile with them. But they want to reconcile with you. Show me the person. Show me the person that was left behind. The partner. They're creating illusions. Doing some type of water magic. Candle magic. Projections. Mirror magic. To see this person as the one. Moon magic. But this person's awakening. I just heard every time they do the magic. Your ex awakens, okay? What the hell is going on? Clarify this person, current energy. Are they still in this relationship? No. This person is going to the practitioner. The practitioner's like, look, this shit is not working. Page of Wands in a reverse. They're getting a bad reading. They're telling them maybe we shouldn't do this. And somebody keeps offering them money. They just they don't want to lose this person. But really, this is about winning at all costs with the five of wands. They're fighting somebody that's not even a part of this third party situation anymore. You were an unwilling participant. Somebody was cheating 
out here walking in the rain. You caught somebody holding hands and you said, okay, I've got the lesson. I'll never be the same if you walked away. <laughs> they went, they thought they won. Hey, I won. You left them with the third party. They went to make an offer and you said, oh, congratulations. And you walked away. Five of swords. They feel defeated by the fact that you don't want to fight them, that you don't care. Somebody's mad because you don't care. About them? What is, oh my God, these people and their delusions of grandeur. Life goes on, my love. This ain't the only fish in the sea, child. They're so concerned about this person coming towards you. They are losing their mind. Clarify the nine of swords. Somebody's losing their mind. Listen, big temperance energy, big archangel Michael energy. You're an earth angel. Clarify. I just heard your awakening is awakening whoever this person is you left behind. Because now they're going within. There's something that you could have told them. Third party situation. There's something that you could have told them about themselves before they left. You could have divine intervention. You could have prophesied to this person. I just heard everything that you told them happen. Somebody's reflecting with the two of wands. This magic is not even working. Whoever this karmic is, they're wasting their money. They're wasting their time trying to keep this person bound. For now, temporarily, they stopped this person, this masculine, this feminine from leaving them. They could have some type of arrangement. They could be married uh, or they're playing house, okay? Or the chariot in the reverse, child, like the car broke down. Somebody's like, okay, what if I was chariot in the reverse in the tower? Yeah, somebody, somebody is trying to, it's like if they can't unalive you, they're trying to unalive your ex-person. I just saw a car accident, fatal car accident. Why, Spirit? No. Holy Spirit, beautiful angels, whoever this person is is doing witchcraft over this person. Please protect them going to and fro their car, their engine, their brakes. What is going on? Somebody's coming up in sneaky and deceptive energy. This person is psychotic. It's like, if I can't have you, nobody will. It's a sick disease that is festering in somebody's soul and it's growing it's cancerous whatever this is somebody is dark and wicked okay all bullshit aside yeah if i can't have you nobody will this is like karma this hierophant is giving them bad news the page of wands something could have happened to the hierophant they're betraying this person. It's like, you're not going nowhere. The chariot and the reverse and the tower, they could have wanted you to be unalived in the car accident and then it happened to this person. Maybe they didn't want it to happen to the person or they want it to happen to the person. Like, if I can't have you, nobody will. Clarify this person, this uh, ex of yours. Clarify the ex. What's going on, child? They are definitely trying to sacrifice this person. Because whoever this reader is, this reader is telling them that this person desperately wants to reconcile with you. They can't see life without you. But here's the dilemma. You've gone on with your life. Clarify the will of fortune. You're on your journey. Yeah, you put an end to this. But there's, a, there's something coming through here. You put an end to this. Okay, it's over. It's never going to be. You wish this person well. You're not angry. You forgive them. And this has caused some type of energetic shift by way of you forgiving them, okay? Energetically, they're holding on to the idea that they want to be with you. Whoever this karmic person is, be a masculine or a feminine, they're going to the reader. The reader is telling them, no, this person does not love you. They, like, we can keep doing this work, but it just keeps backfiring. The reader is trying to heal from some type of energy by way of isolation with the Virgo energy and the um, Aquarius energy. The Six of Swords, they're sailing to common waters. They could have actually transitioned or something or they're moving forward or they're just leaving this work alone. Death and the hangman, listen. Death and the hangman, the tower and the chariot in the reverse is somebody trying to sacrifice somebody. Something backfired. This could backfire on the karmic and your ex if they're in the car together. Okay, this shit is dangerous. Let me just tell y'all something. Whoever is doing this work, Lord, have mercy. May God have mercy on your soul. May God have mercy on your soul. This is desperate measures. This is above the law. So 
Somebody wanted to play God. Somebody was, a, you know, masquerading as a divine counterpart. This is why it's so important that before you just jump in the bed with somebody, you think you got good sex. And because somebody was lured away like by a seductress. OK, a third party situation. You're in your divine energy. Yeah. Karmic lessons, past past life lessons. Somebody been going through this since lifetimes. This karmic did the same thing in all the lifetimes, child. This is crazy. It's giving, why don't you love me when I make it so easy for you to love? And this person is going through an awakening. They don't want this person to move forward. They feel as though you're at fault. So they're like, you're the reason our relationship is over. You're like, what? Queen of Swords energy, you cut this whole thing off. You somewhere frolicking in your journey. <laughs> the hell is going on? This is insanity. Insatiable, obsessive. Clarify the will of fortune. Yeah, you went through some, somebody was sending you death and poverty. This is what they wanted for you death and poverty. If he goes towards her, if she goes towards him, this is what this person was wishing. Be it a he, she, take it as it resonates. If they go, I want them in poverty. Well, this person's now blocked. So you did witchcraft over him, but you're still with him. So that means that you're connected to the curse that you put on this man who's still in a relationship with you. Whether he's wishing to be somewhere else or not, you blocked him from moving. So where do you think the witchcraft is going to go? To your car, to your house, to your life, to your health. Because remember, you've already wished poverty on this man if he tries to leave you. So now you've wished poverty on yourself because he's still in your house. He's not with this divine feminine or divine masculine that walked away. He's not. So this is, this is psycho energy. Six of Cups. It's like a past karmic contract that somebody just has not been able to figure out in a whole bunch of lifetimes. Clarify death in the five of pentacles. Child, I can't. Whoever this karmic is, they stressing this person out. They're irritated. They're bound. Ten of wands. Archangel Michael energy. They're ascending. The sex is not enough. They want a deeper connection. They're, they're like... You know, really their higher self is calling them. This really ain't got nothing to do with you. It just, they're just thinking about how you were moving in the relationship and what they thought was too boring and maybe something they didn't want to do at the time as you went on your spiritual journey. Somebody was still had one foot in and out of karmic situations and now they're wanting to awaken and they're like, yo, I got to get my person back, but your person is gone. The person that you're with is nine of swords energy. Who is this person? Ten of Wands is big Sagittarius energy. Knight of Swords. Yeah, this person is like drama. They keep waging war on you. Somebody is jealous, insidious, moving too fast, too quick to do some type of witchcraft, trying to bind themselves to your energy, hold on to him because they feel like you're the connection to him and weird ass shit. It's like, what the hell y'all got going on? This is ridiculous. Did the divine the person not say, excuse me, uh, let me uh, excuse myself from this karmic bullshit? And you still trying to do something to this child? Like, share, and subscribe. I need a damn commercial break. What the hell is going on? Holy Spirit. King of Swords energy. Somebody thinks they're above the law. They're trying to outsmart everybody. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Verify the King of Swords, child. I don't even know what else to say. Who is this person? This could be the practitioner. Page of Cups. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they want. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Somebody's having dreams and, 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 and visions and we're going to be together forever. You know, like I'm your person. They're trying to take your essence so this person will love you, but it's not working. Yeah, it's not working. This person knows that this is a liar, ace of swords in the reverse, their whole life is a lie. Everything this person say is a lie. The sun, things are being made clear and or illuminated. Three of pentacles, they're collaborating with somebody. Clarify this collaboration, what's going on above the law? What's going on with this witchcraft, with this third party or whatever the hell, child, it's over. This is over, honey. 
They're trying to stop this person from reconciling with you and reconciling with themselves towards Virgo Capricorn. It's a lost opportunity. Big Virgo energy, big Taurus energy. Okay. Let me just make sure all my cards are going the right way, child. What is going on? They want reconciliation with this person. They don't want this person to leave. Is this, is this person still with them? Mm, yeah, they're doing magic. Heavy black magic. To confuse this person. To take this person out. Somebody just can't see themselves living without a person that you don't want to be with. Clarify the ex-person. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, they married this person. Somebody gave somebody an offer. Somebody could have married somebody for money. This is a husband and a wife. Okay. This Ace of Pentacles is supposed to be in the upright, okay? But it's in the reverse. This person could be trying to get pregnant or this masculine is trying to make somebody pregnant so they can't move forward. Take it as it resonates, okay? It's a lost opportunity. They don't want somebody to reconcile with you and you don't want this person. Now, I don't even see your energy here, divine being. You've moved on. You got something else going on, okay? You got a real twin coming in, somebody that's high vibrational like you. You see the larger scheme of things by way of being in the Queen of Swords energy. You're ruling by way of intelligence. You're unbiased and you're logical. You know that you had to go through that experience in order to get to this real soulmate. You're coming up as the Empress, so you transmuted some type of death and some type of sickness and something that somebody was trying to send you to stop you, okay? They could have even convinced your twin or I, I ain't gonna even say twin because you're not twinning with this energy, okay? This ain't no twin energy. Your energy is not the same as nobody in this group. There is no reflecting on that. I don't have no twins like this. Whatever contract you had is done, period. Child. Yeah. Whoever this is, they feel defeated by you. The ancestors are standing up. Seven of Wands, somebody's still continuing to fight. Somebody's still going to continue to fight to the death. But what concerns me is that tower, that chariot. It's like, if I can't have you, nobody, nobody can. This person, whoever this person is, they're thinking about walking away or they've already walked away. And this partner, whoever this is, this karmic soul tie, they're still doing black magic to make them come back. They're so afraid that they're coming towards you. I cannot make this up. Eight of Cups, Queen of Cups energy, Scorpio Pisces, Cancer Pisces energy. Let's just read energy. You're just caring, loving, and kind. And somebody wants to come find you to make you some type of an offer. You don't want them. They're looking for you. Somebody's getting readings obsessively doing divination to see, is he going over there? Is she going to him? Are they going together? Libra is here. Karmic life lesson, past life lesson. Somebody could be a Libra. You could be a Libra. They could be a Libra. Maybe that's the King of Swords energy that keeps attacking you. They're just so preoccupied with you. And you don't want this person. Somebody is weighed down. A third party situation turned into a nightmare, child. And they married the person. Virgo. I can't make it up. Virgo Libra. Somebody birthday's in September. Child, this could be you or this could be them. I don't even know. But you're coming up as the empress. Somebody's trying to get pregnant by the person. The fact that they won't sleep with them. Child. Somebody did some type of sex magic so this person wouldn't be sexually attracted to, to them. Or sexually attracted to you. Now they're not sexually attracted to them. Okay, that card says love and hip hop. Clarify what's going on, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. What is the deal? What is going on? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Somebody thinks they're above the law of Capricorn is real significant. Child, what is going on? The shut up spells backfire. Child, look at the lights blinking. Did y'all catch the lights blinking? Somebody needs to feel caught. This, is this person a celebrity? Somebody, somebody is mad because a celebrity wants to come towards you? What? Hmm. Somebody could be in the public eye. Feel like you moved on. They're trying to move forward. They're trying to find you. They need help. Desperate begging. Somebody, what the? Clarify what's going on with the ex karmic, the ex partner who now wants to go from karmic to divine. What is their current energy? Are they still with this witch or what? They're healing. They're somewhere in hermit mode, healing, trying to figure out how to get back to you. 
and you're somewhere else. But see, there's no, man, this person is cursed. There's some type of curse on them, hex, because of their bond with this karmic ass energy. What the hell is going on, child? What is, listen, I can't. Where's my shaman drums at? I need a damn commercial break, period. I can't be. <laughs> Virgo energy. Faking all their power, all bark and no bite. Child, spirit say this is a whole bunch of downloads. Okay, so what are we hearing, spirit? Mm. I just heard you can't make this shit up. <laughs> Is, this, is that all the, is that all the spirit guys got to say about what's going on you're totally unbothered look disconnected and you're starved of this person somebody is starved of your energy and your healing light but somebody is really trying to block somebody from coming towards you clarify this king of swords somebody's determined a leo Somebody's birthday's in August? You got a Libra that's here? You got a September Libra Virgo and you got an August Libra Virgo. What the hell is going on? Two facing and backstabbing. Hmm? What is going on? New York and New Jersey. Somebody's from the East Coast. They're obsessively watching you online and this karmic knows it. They're getting readings on you. It's like the karmic is getting readings and your ex-person could be getting readings. The Orisha, Santaria, Ifa, Lukimi, somebody's doing some type of sacrifices to keep y'all apart? Damn, this shit is deep. Somebody's got connections in the spirit realm, okay? lies and defamation of character whoever the person is that they're getting definite um what is this divination from they hate how protected you are because they feel like they feel like your energy is too high vibe for any of their magic to work so this is nine of swords energy way down somebody is way down they think that every reading is about them. Child, what is going on? Can we just have a commercial break here in spiritual court? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. I don't even know what to say. I feel like whatever this is, you transmuted something. Poverty. Somebody wanted you in poverty. It's like if you go towards this person, they're going to be in poverty. You're going to be cursed. But you curse the person that you're trying to manifest with black magic. And now they're bound to you. So are you not bound to the curse? Like, hello. Does that make sense? The person that you don't want nobody to have, you put a curse on them. And now you're cursed because you're bound to them by way of some type of soul contract. Y'all, I can't. This person could have married this person. Now they're sitting up somewhere looking crazy. Somebody's determined to take you out. This is ridiculous energy absolutely ridiculous i don't even know what else to say holy spirit beautiful angels show me the chosen one you're in the ten of pentacles eight of cups you you listen <laughs> you started walking and you ain't stopped you still on your journey you're minding your business king of pentacles they are so afraid that somebody is coming in not only are they concerned about uh your ex person coming in to reconcile with you whom again you do not want they're concerned about the fact that anybody is coming in to be with you, child. This person is a narcissist, a sociopath, somebody that's crazy, disheveled, angry, lost, and losing their mind. They just don't want you to win in life. This is jealousy in a way that I've never seen jealousy. Their practitioner thinks they're crazy, but they're a paying client, so they can't tell them is what I just heard. The practitioner is like, listen, no judgment here. You send me $500. I heard $5,000. $50,000? Child, somebody pay somebody $50,000 to do what? Do you know how many people we could have fed with $50,000?
And you out here squandering money? You better get your priorities together. Want your essence so this person will want you, wanted you unalive. They just feel like if you're not there, they ain't got to worry about this person. Okay. This person could have gotten into some type of car accident. Everybody's watching, child. Holy spirit, beautiful angels. What in the entire world is going on here? Show me the chosen one that walked away. Yeah, you made a decision. Two of wands. You walked away from some type of relationship and somebody's trying to keep you bound to it. Clarify six of swords at the bottom of the deck. You healed. Queen of wands and you looking real damn good. What's going on? Fire sign energy. Your empress energy. So you're all the queens, honey. Eight of pentacles, toil and labor. You're working on yourself. You're doing something by way of work. You could have traveled for work at a distance, something. Clarify the chosen one, the real chosen one. You're getting justice, karma, Libra and energy, balance. You balanced out your energy. You broke out of some type of weird ass contract. Show me the chosen one, child. Page of Cups, energy. I feel like you healed from some bullshit ass, immature ass, emotional, reckless ass energy. Clarify what's going on for the chosen. Child, you're in your will of fortune. I cannot. And somebody's mad about it. Somebody possibly that you don't even know. This is stranger to you. Ten of swords. They want to betray you. They want you done. Somebody wants you done, son. Stick a fork in you, son. They want you done. Clarify the chosen one. Ace of wands, but you got divine intervention. The most high is like, I don't think so. I don't think so with your monkey ass. Let's clarify. These old goat mouth ass people. Yeah, look. Some type of divine intervention, near death experience. Death, you've transformed. You transmuted death. So the reason this person is in the nine of swords and losing it is because, child, they don't know what the hell to do. They're like, wait, this person is still alive? You could be a divine masculine coming up as a queen of wands. You could be a divine feminine. Look. I cannot make it up. Five of Pentacles. They wish poverty, death, and sickness on you. Somebody wanted you eating out of the trash can. Child, and now you own the garbage company. Listen, clarify death for the chosen, divine intervention. Child, five of wands. This person is fighting day and night, tooth and nail. Leo energy to stop you from shining. Clarify, please, and thank you. They do not want this person to come in and give you an offer. Knight of Pentacles. Somebody is seethingly mad. Show me what it is I need to see. Two of Cups. Yeah, listen. You got a new partnership coming in. Child, they mad about that one too. They mad about your life. They mad about your existence. King of Cups energy. There's a masculine coming into a divine feminine's life that's about to show you a whole bunch of love. This person is jealous of your power. Okay? And they're mad. They're trying to bind themselves to you with the eight of swords. They want your essence. They like whatever she has, whatever he has, this je ne sais quoi. You mean a direct connection to source? These raggedy ass. They want it. I don't care. What do I have to pay? This is what somebody's saying. Somebody's got money. Okay. And they can't buy a man. Child, they can't buy a woman. Child. What else do we need to see? Somebody's about to lose everything. With the star in the reverse, you could be in the public eye. Somebody wanted you to be hopeless, lost. Okay, that shit didn't work. Show me the divine being. You could have felt this shit a little bit, child. But what you do have is a new beginning, child, with a new lover in a whole situation. And it is a divine union with the ace of pentacles and the lovers. You got new love coming in. This person wants that lover, too. <laughs> so do they really want you? Seem like they just want everything that you have. Ew, you nasty. Ew, get you. Uh -uh. They're obsessed. The devil desires. They're desiring your essence. Your in what is it? What's so special about this person? Okay. How is it that they're overcoming poverty? How are they recovering? Like what? Child. Child. Because you got divine intervention. Five of cups. This person is losing it. They're sad. They can't tap into your energy. They can't tap into your ex's energy. The ex don't want them. You definitely don't want they ass. Okay? Child, five of cubs. This person loves third parties. They love taking married men or married women. Somebody gets off on that. Like, they love feeling like they got the best something that somebody wants. Clarify.
identify their practitioner. Show me the practitioner doing the work. King of Wands energy. This person's collaborating with them. Two of Pentacles. They're trying to transmute some type of energy that backfired. Clarify the King of Wands. Yeah. This person got paid a shitload of money to take your gifts and you're still in your Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's arguing with this person, wondering why is it that you're not sacrificed? Why is the lover not sacrificed? Why does this person still want you? They're obsessed. They're demented. Somebody got paid a lot of money. This person only cares about the money, okay? But they're, they're fighting hard to transmute some type of energy to a pentacles to balance out something. Trying to cleanse or something like that. Clarify. Clarify this, uh, this practitioner. Clarify this practitioner. Seven of Cups. Paint some type of illusions. They get paid to just sit up all day from morning to night to project illusions. That's it. It's all illusions. To scry. And to try to make you feel bound and trapped. But you're not even there. So even their illusions are delusional because... Whoever you are, divine being, you're not a part of whatever this is. You're, you got a new lover, new beginning. They could be projecting it onto their client. Clarify the practitioner. Yeah, you got a new beginning. I can't make it up. Ace of Cups. Clarify this practitioner. They keep coming up as the hermit. Virgo energy, page of swords energy. They're just sitting somewhere projecting. They could be doing divination all day, checking energy all day. They got paid enough. Hell. Somebody got paid a shitload of money. Page of Swords, the Hermit, they just isolated, sitting there watching, projecting, watching. <laughs> Clarify the Page of Swords. Show us the practitioner. Six of Cups. <laughs> Trying to keep old cycles open, illusions, something to keep you unhinged, unbalanced. Show, show us the practitioner. You so silly, little practitioner. High Priestess in the reverse. Dark intuition. This goal was to block your intuition or stop you from being the High Priestess. But really, this is them. Clarify the High Priestess in the reverse. Yeah, the Empress in the reverse. I can't make it up. Look. It backfired. So there's a practitioner fighting for their mental health. Five of Swords. I mean, uh, what is this? Nine of Swords in the reverse. This backfired on the practitioner and the person that paid a whole bunch of money. Because you're in the Nine and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, these people are under judgment. I just heard the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Somebody thought they were above the law. Somebody got a lot of money. They could actually be a celebrity or in the public eye or somebody sees them. Like, or they just feel like they're a star in life. Like, they're above the law. I can do what I wanted it. Like, that type of an energy. Child, they look crazy. Somebody look real crazy. I ain't gonna even lie. Judgment, though, is here. Mmm, Queen of Swords. You cut these people off. Nine of Wands. One wand away from the ten. Temperance. Big Sagittarius energy. The worker could be a Sagittarius or the ex or somebody. Child, this person still want to come towards you. I just heard every time they do some type of spell work, they want to come towards you. I just feel like there's several people from your past that want to come towards you. And somebody's very preoccupied with you obsessing over the fact that you're their twin. They want you to still be bound to this person you walked away from because they believe this gives them access to you. I just heard working through you. Somebody could be Haitian. Somebody could be from Jamaica. There's a lot going on here. Trinidad, okay? There's some real powerful magic, but it's backfiring. It's just, it's causing chaos and conflict and some type of badass car accident. If this hasn't happened already, this karmic could get caught with this person in the car or it's going to happen to the person that they're obsessing over, which is your ex. Period. I don't know what to say. And the practitioner is somewhere in the Nine of Swords in the reverse and the High Priest is in the reverse. They can't see. They don't know. They're trying to do divination. They don't know what the hell is going on. So they're spazzing out, child. They're acting a fool in the spiritual neighborhood. In <laughs> somebody's spiritual neighborhood, but not yours. You keep coming up as the queen of swords. Child, bye. Anybody can be the queen of swords. Take it as it resonates. This is the reading. I love y'all so much. I will see y'all in the next video. Shout out to all the people that energetically thumbs up. Whoever you are, congratulations. 
You have overcome some very powerful magic. You are exceptional. You are essential and vital to the Soul Tribe family. You are being celebrated in the ethers with every death prayer and death spell. May you rise higher and higher and get closer to the Most High with divine and impenetrable power and protection. Peace be with you. I love y'all so much. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace be with you.